Welcome friends. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, life, why I keep pausing and recording and pausing. Man, listen, what I've learned is I don't think I like social media. I don't. I, I don't. You know, I am a mother of two and I am a wife of one. I will well <laughs> and um i am a daughter some type of friend um we'll, we'll get into that way later as well some type of friend <laughs> um and um man listen it is very hard for me to be consistent in recording videos and uh, it's actually it's actually sometimes consistent hard for me, sorry, hard for me to be consistent in a lot of things. And over these past um, several months, I've just been on this journey of self-discovery. And one of my journeys of self-discovery is that um, I probably have some undiagnosed issues. And me and my mom have discussed it. Um, and the reason why I started digging more into it was for my son because he is the ultimate busybody. But then when my mom started saying that, hey, you were kind of like that when you were younger, then I was like, light bulb to the thousandth power that, yeah. So as I've been digging into things, um, just you know realizing okay when i finally gonna get myself evaluated at some point i'm pretty sure i'm probably going to be a late diagnosed adhd and asd um type i don't even know if you call it personality or mental or whatever right um just because if you know me well i've had several stages in life and um, I have learned how to do things along the way, how to interact, what's the proper way to do this and that, things that maybe sometimes, I guess, to some it comes natural, but to me it doesn't come natural, and I've had to learn to do it. I've learned to self-regulate a lot of things, and um, so because of that, it's made me quirky, it's made me weird, certain things about my personality um, that I've learned to embrace over the years. And now I also know where to place it. And I know how to deal with certain things when I feel certain, certain feelings come up. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to be, it's probably going to be a lot of ranting and raving on and on. But you know, if you feel like you know, something, something might be a little ticky ticky boom about you. Please go and see somebody. Like, don't don't worry so much about the stigma and this and that. Baby, go get you some help. Okay, go to therapy. You know what I'm saying? Go see somebody. Go talk to somebody. Go see somebody. Fix your life. I've just been on the path for the last for the last few years, excuse me, for the last few years trying to fix my life, okay? Because it's taken years for me to get where I am today. The person that I am today, I was not she 10 years ago, okay? And I was definitely not she in my 20s. Do you hear me? In my 20s, I was loud and proud and dead wrong most of the time. I'm gonna be honest, okay? loud and proud and dead wrong and stand 10 toes down on that thing wrong okay big wrong and i always thought that oh you know people don't people just don't like me and it's this and it's that and blah 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 and not understanding that it was me but there was also a reason why but because mental health um, and behavioral health is not a largely widely discussed thing amongst our community, which is why it 
went by so many people over so many years you know like the first time the first time somebody ever asked me hey do you deal with anxiety it was a white man at church a white man nobody from my own community excuse me nobody from my own community from all the years of all the people that I know have ever asked me, do I deal with anxiety? Now, this is something that I've known for the past few years, right? For the past maybe two or three years, to be honest, just the past two or three. But he was the first one. And I was just told him, I just told him I was having having an issue breathing and then my singing just wasn't right. And I just had all these racing thoughts and he started walking me through, you know, how he feels and how he gets when he's anxious. And I'm just like, that's me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's not that I'm just taking in everybody's things and self-diagnosing myself. I'm using wisdom to think like, okay, if somebody's describing that they're having an issue and it's a list of 20 things if I have 17 out of those 20 things and I mean very specific things I'm not talking about like broad range right um, I'm talking about very specific things yeah if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck maybe it's a duck do you hear me it is it is it is a duck um so just within these past couple of months, um, I basically have, you know, just been on this journey of self-discovery, wanting to better myself. I just want to do more with who I am. And I feel like I have so much to offer, but it has been held captive by what I didn't know. You know, I'm not trying to get all, I'm not trying to get all spiritual and all biblical and all bible on you. But there's a scripture in the Bible that does say that my people perish for a lack of knowledge. And I feel like that lack of knowledge, of, of not knowing that, hey, you have um, a condition that hinders you here, right? It doesn't mean that you're less than anybody else. It's just that you have to learn to work through these barriers. You have to learn to work through these stop signs, right? So where other people don't have these stop signs, you have stop signs here. So when you get to each stop sign, there's something that you need to do so that you can keep going. But I didn't have that. And so I've over the years had to learn to push through those stops. And some of the stops I never did push through. There's just, there's a few I never did push through. I couldn't, and I couldn't do it alone. And it wasn't until I really started um, being honest about the kind of person that I was and then seeing, okay, the kind of person that I want to be and saying what's hindering me from being um, like this person or that person. And I'm not talking about anything in an unhealthy way. I'm talking about very healthy, you know, as a woman, I see my shortcomings and I see the woman I want to be in other women, right? There's there's certain women that I know, I don't want to be just like them. There's just a certain way that I want to carry myself. There's just a certain way that I want to present myself. And as easy as it is for them to present themselves that way, it is painstakingly hard for me to do it because of this up here, right? And um, some people would say, you know, oh, well, all you got to do is just this, this, that, and that. It's not that easy for a person that deals with anxiety, you know, to just hop a hurdle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't work that way. And when you don't deal with something, you don't know that it does not work that way. So I've learned over time how to start getting through. So a lot of me doing music and um, and journaling and uh, prayer and all these different um, outlets that I use, 
that has been my way. I first started with prayer and I'm not saying that prayer ever stopped, but I first started with prayer and uh, I'm gonna take it back. I first started with journaling. Then I started with prayer. It was like, it was levels to it. The journaling just kind of got some things out. Then the prayer was kind of like, I'm really digging in and I got to dig up, you know, some stuff, right? And you got to deal with some stuff. Um, then the, uh, that was a level. Then new goal, new goal made me think about some things from the past. And now we are digging up more stuff where I was angry at a lot of people. And I spent a few weeks just internalizing my anger because I've had all of this time where I felt like I could have been doing more for myself and I did so much more for other people because I wanted them to like me or appreciate uh, appreciate me, appreciate my company and this or that. And I was upset when they didn't, but not knowing what the problem really was, right? Um, and I lost a lot of years because of that. I lost a lot of years because of that. And so once I started mourning all of that time and all of that energy and all of that loss for myself, right? Then I was able to get to the next place, which was to say, okay, so now what are you going to do for you? What are you going to do? And so that's when I really started digging back into my music and, um, just getting things out and just kind of whatever it was I set my mind to do, I did it, you know? Um, and I'm so grateful for that time and season. And so now I'm not saying that that season is over because I don't think it is. Music is really a part of who I am, but I'm digging into some new, some new things and some newer places within myself that I've never, um, I've never stretched and so I'm stretching these places now you know because my kids need to see me stretch it's not so much you know that um that I'm I'm gonna just feel bad if I don't do something it's something that that I know is necessary uh, for longevity sorry I'm trying to <laughs> get this sock off my foot um uh, it's just necessary for longevity. It's, it's, it's just absolutely necessary. And so my kids need to see me stretch. My spouse needs to see me stretch. The community that I have that I have around me needs to see me stretch. Because my thing is, one thing about it, honey, if I can do it, you can do it too. Because, baby, this life, living in this right here, ain't been no crystal staff. Some people have only seen me up. Some people have seen me up and down. And some people have only seen me down. Okay, and I feel like I've always had so much to, to give, but the lid has always been on me. And so now we're trying to live with the lid off. Okay, no more lids. And um, so we're gonna see where that takes us. So um, hopefully I can really get into post some more videos because once again doing videos brings me great stress it does but i'm trying to find something simple that i can do so that i can you know keep you guys in the loop as to what am i really doing why am i here and why am i trying to build a community because we need each other we need each other all right anyway good talk this is a good friday night talk and um yeah i i look like a bum i don't have any makeup right now <laughs> uh we took the kid to check the cheese tonight we had a good little time you know what i'm saying he enjoyed himself and now your girl is gonna probably get in the shop and go to bed okay we got things to do for the rest of the weekend and then work gonna be looking us in the face on monday so we got things to do all right so toodaloo and baby live it up because you only got one life to live just one just one <laughs>